Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron factory today. So we're going to have a run through George and Marie's brand new 17 foot single axle compact. So this is up a foot longer than normal with this and it's got an ATM of three tons. So the 16 footer that usually rolls through the production line has the ATM of 27.50. So the 17 footer goes up a foot. It goes to the three ton ATM and then also has eight stud wheels. And this one here has disc brakes with twin calipers. So the twin calipers allows the Alco ESC or the electronic stability control to be utilized on the single axle with the braking capacity. So beautiful setup here. So dual caliper disc brake in that Kedron KRS Kedron recovery stub suspension unique for the Kedron owners. So we'll pop back out here and have an overview of the outside. This one here features the full external pull-out kitchen. So we do get quite a bit of inquiry about the external kitchens and if we do them. So we do fit the external pull-out kitchens on the Kedrons here. So it has that stainless sink with the flick mixer three gas burners there on the thermo thermostat controls chopping board and underneath when we do fit the external pull out kitchens we do a full fibro fireproof along that side there as well as that full length and width up top so really nice peace of mind there also with that additional fireproofing that we put in there just as a precautionary measure it is something that when we do that external kitchen, we kit that up with that additional fireproofing inside. Certainly a very nice looking van here. That 17 foot extends the length, obviously. And then inside, that is gained in the ensuite. So you get a bit, bit more room in the ensuite area and the shower. And then some additional space around that island queen bed that extends and retracts. With that also, with the extra space in the kitchen, gives a full width in a stainless steel sink as well with that large drain. Entering into the van, you can see the additional space there when you walk in over and above that 16 footer. And this still has that extend and retract Island Queen bed with the locally made pocket spring bamboo mattress. So you can see there the zip on bolster head. So when this extends out, you have the additional length in that Island Queen bed. It gives it a really long and then roomy in the width as well with that being in the queen. To the kitchen area itself, that has the lift up bench extension. So that there allows additional bench space. And at the press of those two release buttons underneath, that will drop down and give the additional walk around room there as well. So it's just whichever you prefer. TV DVD goes right away from that sink area and that swivels back to the bed as well as you can bring it right around and have it facing that cafe dinette as well. That large stainless sink with that bowl. So you can see the size of that stainless bowl there and the drain area. Nice Kedron etching in the stainless steel on that sink there. Features the twin outlet spouts on that flick mixer. So it has the washing up water on the right hand side. Filtered drinking water tap on the left. Down below this has a satin finish and a stone look. So it's a really nice smooth fingerprint resistant or mark resistant front face on that in the in a super mat. The remotes here for the aircon, the TV and the stereo. This is featuring the Tetford's new model fan forced oven, separate griller, three gas burners up top, plus one element there in the 240. So when you connect it up to your mains power, you can utilize that for that 240 main element there. Microwave up top with the stainless steel securing brackets, the electronics, Heartland internal here, main switches, stereo here in the Pioneer, CD, USB and Bluetooth. Above this is the Psy Marine, so you can keep an eye on a host of features here and you can also download a free app to your smartphone. 
will give your readouts like that solar and your DC to DC input, your drinking shower and grey water tank level indicators, and then your electrical cabinet temperature there. That also features on the external a thermostat controlled fan which keeps things at the correct operating temperature in that box when those gas prevention buttons are closed. Circuit resetters here to simply press and reset on both sides of the controls for the 60 amp charger combined with a 1600 watt inverter. Back into the van itself, here is the controls for that instant gas hot water system on the outside of the van. Splash back there, glass fireproofing next to that Tedford oven. Some welcome chockies and bubbles there with the Anvers wine or bubbles from South Australia. Just slide out these drawers and showcase that stainless steel pull out drawer there, which is incorporated into the fridge area of this slimline Italian made compressor fridge freezer. Up top drop door there to access your freezer and some courtesy LED blue lights there. Swiveling round and entering into the full ensuite. So with the 17 footer in this compact has the additional space. You can see the amount of storage underneath that ensuite bench space there with the ceramic mini basin. Additional mirror space there, as well as more storage above and that wall mounted washing machine. So that secures in with noggins. In between that interlocked aluminium frame of the van. A second diesel heater outlet there to keep things warm in the ensuite area in the cooler months. And then the recessed toilet roll and towel rails here. Has a nice edging in the American oak, so a stained American oak there. We'll just swivel around into another entrance door to the shower. So the slip and crack resistant alloy powder coated base, the aluminium dye bond in the wall, the flick mixer tap up to the shower head, and of course that ventilation fan and additional LED lighting. Swiveling around to an overview of the inside of the van from the ensuite area, you can see the size of that cafe dinette. Plenty of room in the dinette area here. That bifold table comes out really easy to utilize your bench space. The end of the legs here have the lift up leg extensions, and you can see the amount of that bench space there when you fold that out. Some more welcome gifts there. And then at the side of the dinette is a USB outlet to charge your phones and then additional two by mains outlets as well. 12 volt fan up here and swivel round. This has the microfiber in the fabric, like a padded micro leather or macro leather to match that upholstery of the cafe dinette. And then lifting up, you can see the amount of storage with those overhead cupboards the positive lock in the push and twist marine grade catches as well as that full height stainless steel piano hinge looking up top you can see the shine is that aluminium dye bond in the ceiling above that is the non-toxic australian made thermo block insulation Coming back into the van here and inset into that roof is the Australian made filter inside the Kedron Unique Design Registered Filtered Compression Hatch. So what this is, is when you are traveling on dirt roads, so you're traveling on dirt or dusty roads, you simply turn this switch on here. And when you do, this filtered hatch up top will pressurize the inside of the cabin space of the van with filtered air so it just has a nice positive flow of air going out the gas code required vents inside the wall frame of the Kedrons on all models is the interlocked aluminium frame with the additional strength of the high tensile pin punches so you can see the strength there also, you can see the knock-in plastic grommets, which protect all the wiring. And then in between the frame and the walls, that Australian-made non-toxic insulation as well. Back to the inside of the van here. Just give a little bit of an overview from standing in the ensuite area. 
Certainly one very nice van here. The compacts again, whether it's a 16 foot or this in the 17, certainly open feel the size of the van to have a full ensuite. The extendable Island Queen bed there. You have your cafe dinette to have your full ovens, large sinks there. The compressor fridge freezer, so the Italian made fridge freezer. A 300 amp lithium power pack. They've just got a host of features. They're just fully loaded with the features. And then you've just got that maximum amount of livable space as well. They certainly are a very popular van. And when you actually get inside and have a look at one, you can see why to have the amount of features as this one does certainly opens up the traveling comfort in the vans themselves. At the front of this is the electric power jack. So that's covered with an in-house padded cover to protect it from the elements. Twin four and a half kilo gas bottles are housed inside that aluminum plate alloy powder coated box. It's all sealed off and ventilated out underneath. And if you want to turn your gas bottles on and off, you can access through that porthole there. Stainless steel straps protect and you can lock your twin 10 litre jerrys so you can hold diesel for your diesel heater. So that's a lockable filler there. Lift up that top box and there is a reservoir and pump for the disc brakes with the hydraulic fluid. Forward folding bike racks there. Above up top is the Kedron Design Registered Solar Awning. So these here have an integrated solar film that will complement the charge. So looking up top, this has twin 180 watts and another 80, I'd have to double check if it's just another 60 or another 80 watt panel, but there's plenty of solar up top. And then this front will add another 60 watts with that solar awning there. Coming back down to the front of the van is the Rhino coated scrub plates there. So really nice protection on the front of the vans. The gas bayonet there. So obviously that external kitchen that we run through earlier when we first walked down to have a look at the van. Inside the front there, you can see all the protection for that steel encased lithium power pack. So beautifully protected in there. Stepping back out and we will swivel around and just showcase off. So they are the 18 inch wheels with those load rated tires to suit. Underneath here is the KRS protection plates there, formed in part of the hot dip galvanized chassis. So wonderful peace of mind with the internal and external rust protection or corrosion protection with the hot dip galvanizing. And then swiveling around to showcase underneath that Kedron KRS suspension. And of course the disc brakes with the twin calipers. I'll swivel around and go back underneath the rear of the van just to show the Food grade Australian made water tanks there, recess fittings, beautiful strength in these. We show where Dave done a bit of an extreme test there, driving over the top of one with the mini excavator, just to showcase the internal strength of these Australia made water tanks. And a nice Kedron emboss, and they also feature the four rectangular water baffles. So with those water baffles, they allow rocks to drop out. So I'll build up a rocks off road. But the other main feature is it keeps that water from sloshing left to right and gives a beautiful stable tow as here, shown overtaking the trucks. So when you go past that front bow wave of air of those trucks, you can uh, cop that sideways push, but if it's all set up right, as with the Kedrons here, you have a nice, beautiful, stable tow and great peace of mind there. Back around to the outside, twin spare wheels on the rear, LED lighting, Rhino coating on the bottom there. That nice Kedron chrome badge that sits out proud off that aluminium die bond. Underneath that is the reverse camera in that slim line. Swiveling around to the off side of the van. This is the access door for the cassette toilet. That is the instant hot water system. And this is the sealed off galvanized sheet boxed remote compressor. So that has one fan there to keep things cool. And then it has another draw fan and an additional vent there. So it can draw the cool air in here and exhaust it out up the top. 
dropping down. If you are camped up in an environmentally sensitive area, like a water catchment area, you can shut off and keep your grey water tank nice and sealed off so it doesn't contaminate any of the clean water with your washing up water or shower water. When you get to an area where it's safe to do so, you can open that valve and drain your grey water tank. Outside shower, nice and handy to get to their additional window. Just coming forward, you can see the electronics heartland here on the outside. That's that inverter charger. Your uh, DC to DC is here. That's your breakaway and a regulator. When you're going to store the van or when George and Marie are going to store the van, they can simply shut that around to the left and isolate off that 300 amp lithium power pack. There's the readouts here for the lithium courtesy light for the outside and then above this is a thermostat controlled fan so that will keep things cool when traveling on the dirt or dusty roads so if you travel on a dirt road you can simply press button both those closed seals that off it has that triple rubber seal door and twin lockable compression locks when that goes in so that keeps things nice and sealed off there and when you do so that fan keeps things at the operating temperature Generator provision at the front there, so that allows for either the popular Yamaha 2.2 or the Honda 2.2 in the generators as well. Swiveling up and a bit of an overview of the van itself there. I will just walk back and showcase that George and Marie are hitching up to the ever popular LC70 Land Cruiser. So this one here is all set up for the travels. Certainly a workhorse, the 70 series in the cruiser utes. These here will, or this here will pull this van with ease. George and Maria are saying they're getting a canopy set up on the back with their battery systems and charge and pull out drop fridges. So certainly half the fun is getting all your gear all set up. All right, all I will wrap it up here and thank George and Marie ever so much for choosing Kedron for their new van. So on behalf of the whole Gaul family and team here at Kedron, we all wish you the very best for safe and enjoyable travels around this beautiful country of ours. Thanks again for tuning in everyone. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares, all the support, it is wonderful and we sincerely appreciate it. George and Marie, enjoy your new van. Thank you once again. We may catch up with you on the track someday. If not, we might catch up with everyone on the next walkthrough. Cheers, everyone. Stay safe and all the best. And bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,